Sara Betty, and this is Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Now, can you do it with me? Let's say to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Great job, kids. So to begin, we will start with a prayer. So can I see your prayer magnets? And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So right now, let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus. Hello kids, it's time to worship the Lord today, so let's all stand up, one, two, three. Hallelujah, we're the man with our hands lifted up. 
enjoyed our praise and worship time with Pastor Spam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pens. And once you have them all with you, can you help us, Laura, remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, Eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Great job, kids. So for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to Acts chapter 9, verses 36 to 42. Now, kids, can you get your Bibles, please, and open it to Acts chapter 9, verses 36 to 42? And let's read. Now there was in Joppa a disciple named Tabitha, which translated means Dorcas. She was full of good works and acts of charity. In those days, she became ill and died. And when they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him, urging him, Please come to us without delay. So Peter rose and went with them, and when he arrived, they took him to the upper room. All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other garments that Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all aside and knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise! And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. And he gave her his hands and raised her up. Then calling the saints and the widows, he presented her alive. And it became known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Wow! Awesome Bible story, right kids? So we have seen that a woman named Dorcas was well-loved and known because of her good deeds and charitable works. She simply loves helping the needy. One day, she became very, very, very ill, and she died. But Peter, upon hearing the grief of the people, did not hesitate and went to Joppa. And did you know what happened, kids? A miracle took place. Peter raised Dorcas from the dead, and because of that, many followed and believed Jesus Christ. Kids! Two things that we can learn from the life of Dorcas were to always help those in need. And when we always do good, something good will also happen to us. Yes, kids, we should always help those in need and we should always do good so that something good will happen to us. Now, can you follow Pastora in this very simple action words? Can we say, help those in need and do good? To receive something good. Now, can we do it again? Can we say, help those in need and do good to receive something good? Now, can we do it the last time? Can we say, help those in need and do good to receive something good? Yes, kids, we need to always help those who are in need and we need to always do good so that we can receive something good as well. 
Now, it's our question and answer time, kids. And I know you know what to get, right? We need to get our notebooks and, of course, our pens. And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back in Children's Church, we can always give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So are you ready? Great! Now let's go to our question number one. Who was the woman who was dearly loved because she loves helping those in need? Who was the woman who was dearly loved because she loves helping those in need? You got it, kids? Great job. Now let's go to our question number two. When Dorcas got sick and died, what good thing happened to her? When Dorcas got sick and died, what good thing happened to her? You're done, kids? Awesome! And now let's go to our question number three. Fill in the blanks. Blank those in need and do blank to receive something good. Blank those in need and do blank to receive something good. You got all of those kids? Awesome! So now let's go to our question number four, which is always our application for today. Kids, always remember to help those in need. And if you want to receive something good, don't forget to also do good to the people around you. Remember, kids, help those in need and do good so that you will receive something good. So I think that's it for our Bible story for today, and I hope you learn a lot. I'll see you again next time, kids! Hi, kids! I am Pastor Mikey, and this is Good Kid Tips! where you will learn tips on how to be good kids because Jesus wants you to be good. And all the good kids say, Amen! Amen! Today, we will learn tips about being a good friend, something that we can learn from our Bible story today. Tip number 111. Good kids are always doing good and helping the poor. Dorcas was a good person because she went around doing good and helping the poor. There are many ways we can show goodness to others. We can give them food, share our toys, share our clothes, and even share God's word to them. Just remember that if you want to be a good person like Dorcas, you should always do good and help the poor. Tip number two. Good kids think of other people's needs. By making warm and comfortable clothes for other people, Dorcas showed that she was also thinking of others. Wow! In the same way, Jesus wants you and I to think of other people's needs and do something to help them. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 teaches us that God blesses us so we can share it to other people. So next time, think about other people so you can share your blessings with them. Tip number 3. Good kids, care for each other. When Dorcas got sick and died, all of her friends cared for her so much. They took care of her body and even called for Peter so that they could pray for her healing. How about you kids? Do you also care for your friends? Yes! Even if we are far away from our friends right now, we can still care for them by calling them and praying for them. 
Remember kids, we can always ask Jesus to help our friends because He hears our prayers and cares for us. Did you get all those kids? Why don't we play a short game to make sure that you remember our good kid tips. When I say the good kid tip, you will fill in the blanks with the right word. Are you ready? Yes! Tip number 111. Good kids are always blank, blank, and blank the poor. Very good! The correct words are doing good and helping. Good kids are always doing good and helping. Tip number two. Good kids plan of other people's needs. Very good. The correct word is think. Good kids think of other people's needs. Tip number three. Good kids plan for each other. That is right. The correct word is care. Good kids care for each other. I hope you learned a lot from our good kid tips today. Remember, God wants you to be good so you can praise your Father in heaven. See you again next time. And welcome to our Bible Explorer segment. So today, you may be asking, what are you looking for, Pastora? Well, I was looking for these stones. I was looking for this small stone, the medium stone, and also a large stone. So today, kids, we have learned that to be a good kid means that you are doing good and you are helping the poor. That's right. We have also learned today that we can help our friends in a very simple way. Now, we have also learned today about Dorcas. Dorcas was really a very nice person. Did you know wow. that Dorcas helped the poor and helped the people by... By sharing some clothes and also by giving food and helping other people with different needs. Now that is Torgas. Now for today, would you like to explore with Pastora? Yes! So let us go and have our exploration! Woo! Today, I have three different stones with me. A small one, a medium one, and a large one. Let's say these stones are like acts of kindness we do to other people. When we meet others, we can do a small act of kindness with them, like sharing our pencil with them, or a not so big and not so small act of kindness, like sharing our food with them, or a really big act of kindness, like helping them study for your math exam. Do you know what's a ripple, kids? No! Ripples are waves in the surface of water caused by an object. So when we drop these stones in the water, we will see waves moving around it. Now, let's say that the water in this pan is our family, friends, or even classmates that we show kindness to. What do you think will happen if I drop this large stone? That's right! It will cause a big splash and many ripples in water. For example, when we help our friends study for the math exam, it will have a big result because he or she will pass exam because of your help. How about when we drop this medium stone? 
Very good, kids! It will cause ripples, but not so much like the big stone. In the same way, when we show kindness to our friend by sharing them our food, the result will not be so big and not small either because they will be satisfied and not hungry anymore. But how about when we drop this small stone? Wow! Even if it's a small stone, it still costs ripples in the water. In the same way, our little and simple acts of kindness like sharing our pencil or praying for our friends will still make a difference in their lives. It might be that they really need that pencil for the quiz or that the prayer you made helped them receive a blessing from Jesus. You see, kids, no matter how small an act of kindness is, it will always have an impact in another person's life. Your small act of kindness can make someone's day better or even change how they treat other people. Simple things like saying thank you or holding a door open for someone can always have a ripple effect. Whoop! So today, kids, we have learned that even a small act of kindness can cause something in somebody's life. That's right. So you can always help someone in your little ways. So did you learn something from our Bible Explorer segment? Well, I hope that you did learn something. So we'll see you again on our next exploration. Goodness! Whoop! And today we are going to learn a new dance. Our song for today is entitled Every Day. May I invite you to stand up? One, two, three. Very good. We will be learning the chorus part of the song. The steps goes with the lyrics Every Day. It's you I live for. Every day I follow after you. Every day I walk with you, my Lord. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Every day, it's you I live for. Every day, I follow after you. Every day, I walk with you, my Lord. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Every day, it's you I live for. Every day, I follow after you. Every day, I walk with you, my Lord. Now, let's do it with music. Welcome to Incredible Facts segment. Today, Pastora will be sharing with you three incredible facts from our today's Bible story. So before we go to incredible fact number one, 
Can you help a store a friend that one dress? Were you able to find it? Yes! Incredible! Here's incredible fact number one. Dorcas was raised from the dead. After the resurrection of Jesus, the apostles performed miracles through his name. And one of those miracles was when Peter raised Dorcas from the dead. Peter got down to his knees and prayed to God. And then the miracle happened. He asked God's help and Dorcas was healed and brought back to life. Dorcas was raised from the dead. That's incredible fact number one. Incredible! Before we go to incredible fact number two, can you help Pastora find those two shirts? Were you able to find it? Yes! Incredible! Here's incredible fact number two. The people remembered Torcas. Torcas was very kind to the poor. She was always doing good and was always helping others. When she died, the people remembered what she has done and even asked Peter to come and help her. Because of the kindness of Torcas, the people loved her and remembered her. The people went to one of Jesus' apostles to help her. The people remembered Dorcas. That's incredible fact number two. Incredible! Before we go to incredible fact number three, can you help us Tora find those three ribbons? Were you able to find it? Yes! Incredible! Here's incredible fact number three. The miracle resulted in faith. After Dorcas was raised from the dead, she was presented to the widows. This miracle became well known and a lot of people turned to God. Miracles result in people believing in God. So kids, continue to pray for your family, for your friends, and even your enemies. Pray for them and believe that God will give them the miracle that they need. The miracle resulted in faith. That's incredible fact number Three. Incredible! So, those are the three incredible facts that we have from our Bible story for today. First, Dorcas was raised from the dead. Second, the people remembered Dorcas. And third, the miracle resulted in faith. So, I guess that's it for now for our incredible facts segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids. See you! Hi kids, this is Pastora Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is from Hebrews 13 verse 16. Repeat after me. Say Hebrews 13 verse 16. Very good. Now the song goes something like this. Forget to do good and to share with those in need. These are the sacrifices, sacrifices that please God. Don't forget to do good and to share with those in need. These are the sacrifices. Sacrifices that please God Don't forget to do good And to share with those in need These are the sacrifices Sacrifices that please God Don't forget to do good And to share with those in need these are the sacrifices, sacrifices that please God. Very good, kids. Did you enjoy that song? Yes! I did too. Well, that's it for Memory Verse Song today. This is Pastora Armira. See you again next time.
Welcome back, kids! So I hope you learned a lot from our episode today. So right now, it's our prayer time. Do you still remember our three prayer requests? First, we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike, that God will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Second, we will be praying for our families, that God will always keep them safe, and that God will always bless the work of the hands of our parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids. What do you want Jesus to do for you? As for us, you know, our prayer request for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord. You will always be productive and you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So are you ready to pray? Let's have our prayer magnets and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day and from all of the things that we have learned today. Right now, we pray for our government and church leaders alike, that God, you will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. We also pray for our families, that you will always keep them safe and that you will always bless the work of the hands of our parents. And Lord, right now, I pray for these wonderful kids, that you will always make them grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, that they will always be productive, and that they will always be a blessing to the people around them. Thank you so much, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So that's it for Everyday Jesus Today, kids. We'll see you again next time.